So what's in a kind of a rare event, Microsoft loses an exclusive on the Xbox One that's going multi-platform. This is a bit of a shame because it's something that really would have helped shore up the console exclusive side for the Xbox One. What's up everybody, Crab Gamer here with Crab Gamer Reviews. Back with another video, thank you guys very much. So if you guys remember, two years ago one of the biggest games Microsoft showcased was an indie called We Happy Few. And it gave off this Bioshock kind of vibe. Uh, dealing with like these drugs and things like that uh, you, you took the uh, the pills and and you were okay it was like this psychedelic survival game right and it went into xbox game preview program everybody was talking about this game right so now um the survival game we happy few which has obviously been on xbox one for a while now is going to also go to playstation 4 on April 13, 2018. So We Happy Few has been available on Xbox One's game preview program for $29.99. The retail release will be a full 60 bucks. So this is a full retail release. Um, but if you purchase the early access version of the game, you receive the full game for no additional cost. Uh, the retail release of We Happy Few will feature a full-length story campaign, three playable characters, and more than 250 unique encounters, according to the press release. Um... It says, our team was humbled by the initial public reception of We Happy Few and delighted to have this chance to make it bigger, um, the studio head said. We're longtime fans of Borderlands and we're excited to be part of a lineup that also includes games like Homeworld and Fortnite. Gearbox, Gearbox believed in us from the very beginning and we think this partnership will make it possible to create a game that our community expects. Uh, Compulsion Games has an amazing game vision and it's an honor for Gearbox Publishing to contribute to the effort. So Gearbox, the publishers of, obviously, Borderlands, are going to publish this game. Now, why wouldn't Microsoft step up and publish this game? I don't understand why they wouldn't do that. It probably wouldn't have been that expensive and you would have kept the game console exclusive. And it's a very unique type of game that would have really kind of, you know, shined in your, exclus in your exclusive lineup. So, again, this is a game that a lot of people were really high on and excited about. And I just don't understand why all of a sudden you guys just doesn't seem like they care in terms of uh, locking things up. I mean, these games couldn't be that much to to kind of lock up, and they're and they're just not going after them. It's a it's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a noodle scratcher as well. Um, you know, it's the same thing with that new Remedy game that's going to be happening. Uh, they signed a deal, I think, with uh, with 505 Games, and it was like literally for a few million dollars. Like, Microsoft could have had an exclusive from Remedy for, like, $5 million. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that uh, this stuff is going on right now, especially at a time when you're struggling with the first party the way that they are. And I don't mean to sound like a downer, but it basically means that Xbox fans, because we did, uh, we beta tested We Happy Few for the full release. We were the ones giving the feedback on the forums and telling them what they should do and improve and things like that. And then the PlayStation fans get the... Um, you know the dividends of that in my opinion so yeah sorry if it sounds a little bit um, salty or whatever maybe just uh, unfortunate but I mean I guess good that more people are going to get to play it but it just seems like a lost opportunity for Microsoft uh, very curious to hear what you guys think about this sound off rate comment subscribe I will link to this in the description of course thanks for watching rack them up crap gamer out